Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. We're out here in Rockford, Illinois. We're at the, what is it, the American Motors? The American Motors Owners Convention. Owners Convention. I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, what's your last name? Hey, Jeff Spratt. Nice to meet you. Jeff Spratt. And Jeff's got a great car. Let me grab Jeff for a moment. Jeff, what kind of car did you bring here today? Uh, I brought a 1970 AMX. It's uh, got a 390 four-speed posi rear end car with a shadow mask and it has the rally pack gauges. It has about five miles on it. Now how far did you come to get here to the show today? I trailered the car but we were about a thousand miles from Ontario and Canada. And this car is one of the top three judged today. That is right. So let's step right to the car. Come on next to me. Come on right next to me. And let's take a look at that. Now you received this car in what year? Uh, 2009. 2009. How'd you pick the AMX out of all the cars in the world? Well, as far as automobiles on the uh, on the seller's market, they're still affordable. So that drew me in price-wise. And we've got the sun hitting your car just right. What's the color that this, this car is This is called the Big Bad Green. It was one of three high-impact colors for 1970. Big Bad Green. Now, you hardly would see this coming down the street at all. I mean, it's so subtle. <laughs> well, they were they were uh, uh, police attention getters. I no subtlety about it at all. Yeah, exactly. This is just spectacular. I want people to take this in. And you did all the restoration work yourself. Yes, I did everything. How did you, come on with me. You're in the chance for getting one of the top awards here at the show. How did you, uh, so that's that in and of itself is amazing. Uh, tell me your philosophy on restoring a car. Uh, you know, restoring cars can be very overwhelming. Uh, you have to be patient. And you have to realize you're not going to get it done tomorrow. And there's a thousand things to do on a car. And if you do one thing every couple of days, eventually you're going to be successful and complete it. I just want to say the car looks spectacular. Let's go. Tell me about these side pipes here. Oh, that was a dealer Group 19 installed option. Okay. It's a chambered exhaust. This is actually a straight through exhaust. The outer skin of the muffler is actually crimped to absorb and deflect a little bit of the sound waves. Mm -hmm. So when did you complete this car? Come on back with me. Uh, I completed it uh, probably in uh, 2011. And uh, it was about 2,000 hours worth of work. 2,000, a full year's worth of work. Let's open the... Uh trunk when you have a moment. I usually wouldn't open the trunk, but on this car, it's so spectacular. And I like how the, the, gro the, the groove there. And you can see why this car is in this kind of judging class. Because it looks like that. Okay, so let's shut that. Thank you. And the bumperettes. Let's uh, open the uh, interior, please. Let's get that. And the venting. That looks great for those people who love all the detail. Looks spectacular. We've got the American Motors across there. No back seat, as you can see. The AMX proudly displayed in the center of the wheel. This, for all intents and purposes, is a brand new car. What's that right there, Jeff? Jeff, what's that right there? Uh, that is the clock adjustment knob. Clock adjustment knob, okay. All right, let's open up under the hood. Sure. Wow. Is that the reaction people usually give you when you open that? Yeah, I get a wow, and how often do you drive it? <laughs> Not a lot. 
Let's do this. I'm getting all the little badging. Some things you may not have read in a little while. In the 390, all of our information there and on there. So, I mean, even on the belts, just amazing. Let's uh. Let's start her up, shall we? Absolutely. Shut it off. Go ahead, shut it off. That's a good sound right there. <laughs> that makes you smile. It's a little bit rambunctious, but yeah, it I, does make you smile. Boy, that's the kind of that's the kind of rumble you don't need a you don't need a radio in a car like that. <laughs> Alright, let's shut that down. Stand right next to her. Jeff, amazing build. So glad you came down to bring this car here and thanks for being on my car story. Appreciate that, Luke. Thank you.